The human body is intricate and complex, and oftentimes when things go seriously wrong inside, one way to solve the issue could be surgery. Without surgery, doctors wouldn't be able to treat many life-threatening conditions and injuries. Although the origin of who exactly discovered surgery is debatable, one pioneer of this field is Sushita. Sushita was an ancient Indian physician. Born in 800 BC, almost 3,000 years ago, he's often referred to as the father of surgery. He is believed to have written the Sushita Samhita, literally meaning Sushita's collection, which you can see here on palm leaves. In this medical text, he wrote about many different surgical procedures, as well as anesthesia, which is medicine that helps you not feel pain, and even prosthetics, which is artificial body parts. This image here, taken from his book, shows many surgical instruments or tools used during surgery, and many of these still exist today, which is fascinating considering that this book was developed thousands of years ago. His students were required to study for six years before beginning surgical training, similar to medical school in the UK, and he was the first person to instruct students to practice surgical techniques on vegetables and dead animals, which demonstrates how he advanced safety in medical training too. In addition to this, he was also the first person to perform a documented surgery, where he removed a bladder stone. His ideas about surgery were really groundbreaking, especially since he didn't have access to all of the technology that we have now. Some other examples of surgical procedures that he mentioned were reconstructions of the face such as the nose, and in his book he described the methods he used for these procedures too, and these methods remained exactly like this in India until the 18th century where it was modified. To conclude with one of his quotes, he describes disease to be the imbalance in the body and a physician's duty was to help maintain balance or restore it, which just shows how thoroughly he understood the role of being a doctor ethically. Thanks for watching.